Well, the uh, rotator cuff is a uh, series of four muscles with their tendons uh, that are underneath the outside muscles of the shoulder. And these uh, small little muscles are very important to help uh, determine where the ball is going to be riding on the socket. Uh, they don't do much for strength, but they're important uh, because you need to keep the ball centered on the socket to help generate strength and power. People who tear the rotator cuff come in all age groups. Uh, most commonly, we see rotator cuff tendon tears in people over the age of 40. After about the age of 40 or so, if you have a dislocation, uh, one of the things we need to be worried about, did you tear the rotator cuff tendon or one of the rotator cuff tendons during that dislocation? Uh, we order MRIs uh, for the workup of a suspicion of a torn rotator cuff tendon. Uh, we need to determine, do we think it's even repairable to even consider surgery. Uh, treating patients with rotator cuff tendon tears, uh, we can go conservative or non-operative or surgical for repair and reattachment of the tendon. Of all the people that we know have a rotator cuff tendon tear with conservative care, we can get about one-third of those patients uh, to the point where they find that what they're left with is acceptable. Rehab is, or treatment is, uh, initially controlling pain and discomfort with anti-inflammatories, pills and or shots, and then rehab, and rehab is aimed at uh, regaining motion as well as retraining the intact rotator cuff muscles to pick up the slack for the broken one. Uh, surgical treatment is if you fail or find that what you're left with after conservative care is unacceptable as far as weakness and fatigability of the shoulder, with uh, surgical treatment, uh, rotator cuff tendon tears, uh, we have the ability to repair the tendons either all through an arthroscopic procedure or uh, through what's called an open procedure where we actually make a bigger incision uh, and get down to the shoulder joint and then reattach the tendon back down to the bone. Uh, uh, the recovery after a surgical reconstruction of a rotator cuff initially uh, we want to try to control the symptoms of pain and swelling and inflammation as well as working on some gentle passive range of motion to help prevent stiffness of the shoulder. After a surgical reconstruction of the rotator cuff, uh, it will take a patient 9 to 12 months to fully recover uh, from the surgical reconstruction, although from a functional standpoint, they should be doing really pretty well by about 3 to 5 months. Injury prevention, uh, or one of the most common uh, stories I hear for somebody, or after somebody's been injured, is uh, they really didn't take a sufficient amount of time to warm up or for pre-activity conditioning to be ready for their high demand.